In this video, we're going to discuss yet another question, one of many, about the moon landing. And this one has to do with the Van Allen radiation belt. And this is a donut-shaped uh, protective layer around the Earth. There's two, actually. Let me bring up this diagram. There's an outer radiation belt and an inner radiation belt. So you notice that two really, uh, what I would determine to be impenetrable layers. So, And that's something actually that NASA has on their website, NASA Van Allen probes spot and an impenetrable barrier in space. So talking about the Van Allen belts there. Now, the reason why I bring this up is because we supposedly landed on the moon. And here is the range right here from July 16th, 1969 to December 7th, 1972. Now, the very interesting thing about this is there's an Orion mission, an Orion spacecraft mission uh, to take people to Mars. So the, or here's the flight test. Now, this is scheduled to happen over the next few years. They're going in stages. They claim to be going in stages. But there's an interesting video that I saw that promoted this Orion uh, mission. And I'm going to bring that up right now. Very interesting. Right at the end, actually, is where this scientist uh, really just kind of blows my mind. And I don't understand what he's trying to say. We are headed 3,600 miles above Earth, 15 times higher from the planet than the International Space Station. As we get further away from Earth, we'll pass through the Van Allen belts. All right, you see it says high radiation right there. So I'm gonna continue to play it. We'll pass through the Van Allen belts, an area of dangerous radiation. Radiation like this could harm the guidance systems, onboard computers, or other electronics on our I want you to really pay attention at all the stuff that the radiation belts can harm, talking about that, as well as human life. Naturally, we have to pass through this danger zone twice, once up and once back. But Orion has protection. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. Sensors aboard will record radiation levels for scientists to study. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm going to back that up. I know the audio is a little bit loud. Bear with me, but listen to this part. Before we send people through this region of space. Um, wait a minute. Back it up. Challenges before we send people through this region of space. One more time. I don't know if I'm catching this right. Sensors aboard will record radiation levels for scientists to study. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. Okay, we must solve this problem before we send people through this region of space. Didn't, did, I, I don't know, I'm looking at this right now. Didn't, didn't we already do that? with Apollo 11, 12, 14, well, 13 went through too because it didn't land, but it went through, 14, 15, 16, and 17. All these missions, 11 through 17, from 1969 until 1972 already did it. How do we have to create technology in order to get through these Van Allen belts in order to go to Mars? Why do we need the technology? Why do we need to protect uh, the equipment, why do we need to protect the human life? Why do we need to, to solve the challenge to go through this region of space, which we already went through all these times from 69 until 72? If the technology was in existence back then or we were able to do it, why is it a challenge today in 2016? Just a question, that's all. I, I mean, I pretty much know the answer from what he just said in that video that we are not able to do that as of yet, which lends me just scratching my head, makes me scratch my head to wonder, well, if we can't do it now, how did we do it back then? Remember to like this video, remember to share, make your comment. Now, now I know I'm going to have some people commenting on the flat earth. I'm just saying within this particular scheme with the moon landing and what they're saying with the globe and all that stuff, this, the holes within this story. So, like I said, you can comment any interaction, whatever you believe, whatever you disbelieve, if you agree or disagree, is all welcome. I try to answer each and every comment as quickly as possible. Like and share this video with your family and friends. Please subscribe to the channel and 
Have a great day. That's the most important part. Have a great day and God bless you.